Hey, listen, I know we just got here, but I want to say real quick, please take a moment to stop, pause, and follow this YouTube page. Comment, like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, do all that stuff, because we have a lot of great fun stuff happening over here on the channel. Angelina moments. Yeah, you look really good, girl. What? I so see you look really good. You look stunning. I, I cannot hear you. Yes, the fuck you can. You're so stupid. <laughs> what are you wearing, what? too? What are you wearing? I don't know. Well, this is Jeremy Scott for Adidas. I'm a brag. It's like a whole tunic dress. But then I was like, it needs like dark hair. You know what I mean? Like Elvira hair. You look you look really good. This is a great- I look good. I was like, I look dark. I look sexy. Also, I have to paint my nails while we're talking. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. How are you? I'm good. I'm living my dreams. I'm just, uh, you know, here working and uh, getting ready for this. This episode was wild. Oh, this is why I drank, Mom. I can't. Oh, ask me how I want to do with Orgy. Ask me how I'm doing. <laughs> Bob? Yeah. How are you doing? How are you doing? Oh. <laughs> oh, it's been. Oh, I can't even. There's a ghost. <laughs> I know. Don't get me started. Uh, another thing. I know. <laughs> Do I always complain, though? Yes. Didn't you. <laughs> Didn't you like misquote your thing? Like you, you forgot that you said, uh, Oh, yes, no. Oh, uh, how do you remember things? See, this is when we work. I don't remember anything. And this is exactly my point. I got back and you know, we all do this merch, you know, after the thing, we're going to tour. We had to put stupid things on t-shirts. And I wrote, ugh, gross. Cause I thought I said in my elimination, ugh, gross. And then when I watched it, I said, oh shit. I said, ugh, Jesus, gross. So I created all of these little makeup cases that said, oh, I remember. Gross. So every time I signed it, I wrote, Jesus. <laughs> I, remember, I remember being like, didn't Georgia have some misquoted merch? Official merch that was oh, misquoted? God. Whatever, whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna show you something absurd. I'm gonna show you something hey, absurd. Wait, wait. Can you hear me? No, I'm gonna stop and start again. Wait, no, I want to- It's not the right. Microphone. Wait, uh, can you hear me? How I can hear you now through the computer, right. yes. I want to show you something. This was a birthday gift to me. <laughs> I hate that we're this close. Also, your wig line is amazing. <gasps> what is right. this hair? Wait, no, get back on No, 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 no. I'm going to show you the thing. Shh. You this, look no. amazing. Thank you. I appreciate that. This birthday Ew, gift. Your hair is coming out of your scalp. Ew, that wig is so good. What is this? Come closer. It, move it, move it. Wait, move it back. Ah! I'm authority. <laughs> Watch this thing. This is a birthday gift to okay, me. Okay, go, go, go. Listen. Hi, Bob. This is Rachel Dolezal, and I just wanted to oh, wish you a happy birthday from your boyfriend, Jacob. So I hear it's your 35th, and that's a an awesome year, middle of your 30s. So much wisdom that you've accrued at this point, and also so much youth and energy still going strong. So I hope you're able to channel that, continue to channel that into your activism and all the important work you've been doing for the black community, <laughs> social justice causes, um, <laughs> the, level, the national level, and even the international level. So stay inspired, stay strong, keep that change making going. And happy, happy birthday. Cheers to you from Jacob. <laughs> I can't even begin. Where do I begin? Where do I begin? Where I can begin because you beat me is I also got a cameo <laughs> for her because Kirk ordered me one for my birthday last year. But now you won because I can't find it. Where is it? I hate you. Hold the... Hello everyone, welcome to Purse First Impressions. My name is Bob the Drag Queen. And I am Thorgy Thor!
<laughs> and we are your hosts for season three of Perch vs. Perch where we are reviewing RuPaul's Drag Race All-Star Season 6. I cannot believe there are six seasons. Listen, I want you all to join us in the conversation. We love, love, love to hear your thoughts. So please use hashtag Perch First Impressions. That is hashtag Perch First Impressions on Twitter, Instagram, and we will join you in those conversations. And comment below about your favorite looks, whatever you want to say below, baby. While we're getting started, let's just say out loud, I am so gagged. Not, I'm not gagged, but like everyone voted for Akira. Everyone. Like, save no one. Akira did not stand a snowball's chance in hell of surviving that episode. Literally not. She none. did not slap it today. Yes, yeah, she had girl. Miss Thing, there, there, there was no way, there was just no way she was gonna win that episode. I felt, I felt. Or any episode. And you know what? She was very cool. And they said it on the beginning of this episode. They were like, you know, Akira left with grace. And I, I thought that was a, a good way to say it. Okay, so first of all, Pandora Box started talking and said like, at the top of the episode, I was gagged when Pandora Box started talking. I was like, <laughs> you like Pandora's on this season? I was like, Pandora <laughs> Box is like fully like talking to the camera. I was like, we're going to get a storyline for Pandora Box for the first time this whole season. I have been craving yeah. this. I want this. We've been saying every week, like, where is she at? Where is she? Where is she? So finally, we're getting some Pandora story moment. I was like, oh, I cannot believe. And I was like, well, she's going to need to be at the top of the bottom. And this is no shade, but I've heard her lyrics before in other songs. And I don't think this is going to be a... Ridiculous. Which she basically did again, which I was kind of... We'll get there, we'll get there, we'll get there, we'll get there, we'll get there. Yes. Also, Shane Body has something to say. Shane is a super fan. Please, I pray. Thorgy, are you sober? It's okay if you are not. But you sound sober, or is your drunk sound also sober? Bob, <laughs> can you just answer that for me? Like, why did you, oh, the last week they were like, why, is, why do you constantly sound 100% drunk and 100% sober at all the time? <laughs> also, if I have a drink, or I have no drinks. I'm always the same person. I always have this voice. We are we are so far behind. So they're doing this uh, this challenge where they uh, write their own lyrics. They're split up into two groups now. It's called Show Up Queen. Yes. Pandora Box is picked dead last. I, that would hurt. That would hurt my fucking feelings being picked last. I mean, you and I would never pick last. You were would we? never. Be picked last. Well, yeah, you and I did not get Ever. picked last. We, we, did, we did group stuff and we never got picked last. What was the group stuff? We did oh, uh, for the Bitch, Bitch Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Who we just did the group? one. It was, it was just the one. We did Bitch Perfect. And we had to go into groups and you and I, but I, I, getting picked last just feels, I don't know, that, that would have really. Yeah, you just stand me. there and you go, got it. I'm the worst. Got it. And then, then the person who gets picked last always leans in. They're like, well, I was your default. And it's like, yeah, Mary, you were. But like, now get it. Like, get with it. Because now we're on the same team. And then RuPaul comes by to talk to everyone. And I, I really love that uh, what what Kylie said to RuPaul about women. Ah, are you going to say the same thing? Go, go, go. Yeah, what were you going to say? Go say it. Oh, you, you're talking about like the serious moment. Oh, yeah. I was talking about how Kylie was, when Kylie was talking go, to go, RuPaul go, go. about learning to love herself. I just, I just thought it was a really... Touching moment. There was a lot about self love and showing up for yourself. And showing up. It was it was, it was actually a really beautiful episode in that regard. It, it, that's what I'm. It was like drama, but also like sincerity. And I really felt my heart like beaded for Kylie during that. Do you remember when they were all picking out costumes for their team, which was yes. Ginger, Kylie, and Eureka? Oh, the cat and suits. Kylie said something, and I wrote it down. And she goes, "Girl, it looks like we're fighting crime for different cities." Yeah. <laughs> That was very funny. I didn't know that. I didn't that was know funny. That. I was like, yeah. all right. And Kylie's really, Kylie's really coming through it a lot too now. Like instead of being like shy in that, because uh, she was kind of pulling a Pandora shy moment for a minute. We have all the lyrics written out. We're gonna read them to you here. We're gonna review the lyrics and we're gonna review their look in the challenge. Oh my God, there's so much to do. We gotta get going. I know. So Jan's lyrics said, Jan's got something to say. Everybody jokes, I'm so nice, nice, nice. But I love me, so I don't think twice. I'm real. It's how I feel. My positive outlook, you just can't steal. Uh, my pe I'm peppy, peppy, peppy. That's my energy. 
want it all the time. That's how I be. I hate people say how I be. I hate people say how I be or how I is. That really, especially it's all right. Go 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 go. No no no. no. And this is my critique. It drives me crazy because if you like, especially if you don't talk that way, like you don't say it's how I be. Don't say that. Anyway, so get out of my head and shake Want my it all junk. the time. That's you how I You know what be. Mama Rue said. Bring my fuck. So what do you think of this? these lyrics in this outfit? When she was doing it, I was like, she looks beautiful, gorgeous, confident, great performer, great steady energy. I could understand everything she was saying. And in a simplistic way, she kind of like encapsulated every critique that she has gotten from the judges in this self-empowerment rap. I think it might think, sound simple to you, right? It does. It's, it's simple. not about it simple sounding simple. 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 She just missed the mark. For example, I'm not saying this is a bad verse. What it's it's kind of like what a, were the wait, hear that? What were the girls given as like what were they supposed to do as a as a speech? Like it was what an, they to uh, it was an uplifting uh, message to other people. And this, what I'm saying is, every other girl got the message except Jan. For some reason, right, Jan gonna, thought it was listen, listen, I listen, listen. Whoa, 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 whoa. For some no, reason, no, I know. Jan I want to write was, down the message. For some reason, Jan thought it was I. It's about me, my thing. But instead, it's about like what have you persevered through? <laughs> and I think the problem might be I don't, I don't know Jan's Bob, story. Bob, we have dragged Jan every episode. I'm not dragging like, Jan. Really, I do, and I'm really trying. This episode, I wrote down like I love this girl, and now you're like proving to me that. She didn't do well. <laughs> well, she didn't do a good job. What I'm saying is every other person understood the assignment except Jan. She did not get the notes. She took the notes, but uh. applied it to the wrong challenge. They weren't saying take everything we said and write a rap about it. They said uplift people. And I think the problem is I do not know what Jan's been through. Let me say that loud. I do not know what Jan has suffered through or anything like that. But this is about... It seems to be yeah, everyone else thing. is taking what they've been through and turned it into something. But Jan just wrote some words about how she's not nice. about her so and her funk. There are people being like, I battled through depression. There are people who are like, I had, I was HIV. I'm there are people who are like, I, I was, you know, my bowels were obstructed as a child. <laughs> saying all this, saying all this <laughs> stuff. And different challenge, but same yeah. sentiment. Yeah. And Jan's like, well, I'm just really nice. And I'm great, and I love me. I also felt that on the little panel, the, the podcast episode, where she was like, I like my butt. I'm beautiful, and I'm cute. I'm like, but you are cute and beautiful and, like, privileged and gorgeous. Yeah, so... so Why are you it, feeling bad so about it yourself? Feel, it just feels like she missed the... This, not, this is not a bad oh, birthday. You gotta give her a it. chance. You gotta give her a chance. Come but on. but her outfit is cute, though. I will say her outfit... I do like her outfit for the challenge. That was cute. Let's move on to... Raja, who I stand, and I think I've acknowledged at this point that Raja is my favorite queen for the season, but at this point, I think that Trinity K. Bonet deserves to win. I'm going to say out loud, Raja's my favorite, but I think Trinity K. Bonet deserves to win <laughs> this fucking season. Now, I'm going to... Wait! I, what? Wait, I want to say, I want to jump in here. I wrote Raja, because I wrote down, like, all the queens in order, and I wrote Raja, clear winner of the rap. She was clear very... when when she went, but the gray boots were annoying me. But I was like, whatever. Her rap was clear, crisp, with a message, and I was like, Raja, boom, clear winner for me for this. It was to amazing. Me, it was amazing. To me, she was a. It was a. It was a close between her and Trinity K. Bonet. And Trinity um, had a really really great look this week. So let me let's read um, Raja's have... verse. Let's read Raja's verse. Listen up, okay, I got right. something to say. Wake up, wake right. up, and wake up, wake up, and I'm feeling a way, which is, but we're feeling a way. Gotta shake this thing, here's what I say. I'm good, I'm worthy, I was born to be great. Don't let no self-doubt get up in your way. It's all right, oh. you okay, don't stay in that place. Your feelings, take a, feel your feelings, take a minute and throw it away. Do what your yeah. grandma taught you and let your light oh. lead the way. This was very, this is great. One, this is just solid advice. Like amazing, is, it sounded good. Her, I like her singing at the end. She has a great singing voice. She looked beautiful. Yep. This she was gave that last no. She nailed, and I was that like, voice. oh, she can sing. Uh, wait, but it. What I loved about it is that it tied together all the other episodes that we have watched. Remember when she broke down? Uh, I think it was last episode or the episode before, and I said, now I'm on Raj's team because she broke down about her, like, Catholic upbringing, right, with the church. No, it, was, it, was about, it was about her mom. It was about her relationship with her mom. 
So she, she's talking about her grandma and she goes, feel your feelings, take a moment and then throw it away and then get to going and trust your family's advice. And like, I was like, yes! yeah, it was good. And then she sat. Let's talk about my Claire winner for the episode. Motherfucking TKB. Holy okay. shit, this verse. You wanna read it or you want me to read it? No, no, I think you read it because she was not the clear winner for me, okay. although I loved her, but I think you're gonna do more justice. Go for it. Trinity K Pene, go. Ooh, child, I guess it's my turn. Let me introduce myself. I'm TKB for Bad Mama Oh, Jam that's why you keep saying it. Okay, go. A Bad Mama Jamma from the South. Started from the bottom, now I'm, now I'm in the lead. If you blink, I'm gonna end up with a crown. What a fierce fucking line. I overcome yeah, that's kinda good. I overcome depression, I'm living my truth. If it can happen for me, it can happen for you. That's when I was like, that that, that literally gave me chills. If it can happen, that is just such an inspiring moment. It's it inspiring, happen, it's inspiring. It she's for me, she's talking it can to the kids. For you. Yes. She's talking to the kids. I'm a lead, yeah. I'm a fight, I'm a speak up for what's right. Positivity is fierce when you know that shit is right. That the line, if it can happen for me, it can happen for you, was a, that was that was that was the golden ticket. That was what she needed to say. She looked literally, literally perfect. There was nothing wrong about how she looked, nothing wrong with her outfit, nothing wrong with her verse. I just don't understand why they split up into two groups. They could have just done one whole rap. Why was it two groups? Anyway, that doesn't matter. Um, because they it were, was they, weird that they were separated. But. Yeah. But anyway, that being said, man. And, and the reason why she's declared one of the challenges is also because her look will get there. Her runway was better as well. But like, yeah. bitch. Well, she's work. a man. We're st I'm a little, I'm staring at the lyrics next to a picture of her in that pink wig and I'm like, you look so good. She looks Eureka, amazing. Eureka also did a good job. Let me try I think this might've been the, like overall everyone, the best lyrics of any. Yes. Yes. Eureka said, Eureka, loud, 500 pounds and proud. Off the wow. top, I was in. When she said, Eureka, loud, 500 pounds and proud, I was like, this is going to be but great. But she ain't 500 pounds, but it doesn't matter. She could have said 1,000 pounds and Eureka, proud. I think and Eureka you would might be. got it. I don't yeah. know. I, I trust her. Eureka, Eureka's a big girl. Eureka also, is. Also, wait, wait, wait. Can I tell? Wait, wait, wait. I have to wait, wait, wait. This is like good. So while I was watching this episode, right before I started painting earlier today, I was watching it. So it was fresh in my mind when we were recording right now. I literally texted Eureka a voice uh, note on my mm -hmm. phone. And I was like, girl, you are amazing. And I'm jealous that whatever you're filming with Bob and Shangela, whatever show that may be, we don't know. It's called um, We're Here. <laughs> I said, I'm jealous. I, I, I just like legally, have a, I but I said, I'm jealous of you. I love you and you are killing it. You are like at the front of it. Eureka is being herself, honest, funny, self-deprecating at the same time, confident. She's amazing she's to me. She's grown a lot. Yeah, Eureka's- She's amazing to she's, me. Yeah, she's, I mean, Eureka's she's grown top a lot. Three, she's top three for me through and through from the beginning. But yeah, anyway, she's so keep reading it. her verse. So yeah, so Eureka's grown a lot. I mean, 500 pounds, she's grown a lot. All right, more than my size <laughs> or the- Love it. More than my size or the standard of beauty took my 30, mm -mm, that was a great, my 30 yeah, mm -mm years. Yeah, and I heard it and I was like, ooh. When she said 30, mm -mm, like that is so funny. It took me 30 mm -mm years just to know that I'm worthy. Um, Haters stop and say she's polarizing, but baby, I wake up and start realizing growth is a word, no need to panic. Equal rights and self love is the true pandemic. Size 16, never gonna lose. Kick to the sky, even in potato shoes. <laughs> I love that she was like, these shoes are hideous, and I'm gonna call it out because they're fucking ugly. And from the very beginning, I was like, why are they nude and why are they an inch? And but then she, she called it out and I went, so now good. I love the shoes. Now yeah. I love the shoes. <laughs> this was a, this is a great, she looks good too. This is a great, she really did a fucking good job. They're, these girls are genuinely killing it. Let me just say, I freaking loved Eureka's verse and I thought she was gonna win. And then, and then that bitch came out in a beach ball and I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Well, we so, haven't gotten there yet. We so haven't gotten there yet. Let's talk about the looks. Since, since uh, Benjamin gave us that wonderful segue, let's talk about the looks. Thank so, you. Jan uh, said that she was giving uh, Jersey Shore. She said Snooki meets J-Lo. And part of it was uh, like, J-Lo's not from the Jersey Shore. J-Lo's from, from the Bronx. 
Yes, but like, see, this is when I'm like, you're really always about like right away dragging her, and I'm like, stop. I'm it. not about. Okay. Listen, I'm fair of across the board. Of course, Jayla is not from that, but it doesn't matter. She actually looks very beautiful. Her hair is very high. It's incredible. The fabric is good. She has matching shoes, matching bag. She's like dressed to like in the tropics. Like she's like, oh, I'm drinking with my sunglasses. She looks gorgeous. She looks she amazing. She looks good. All right, Pandora so Box Pandora looks Box. absolutely stunning. Can I read her lyrics or whatever? There are no lyrics. Her like on the, oh my God, the wine kicked in. Y'all, we gotta wrap this, this up. This is the way, hold on. It, I think we should have done that. Look and lyrics like in together. But no, no because there were different there were different looks with the lyrics. There were multiple I know, looks. I ha 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 How do you like this look, <laughs> bitch? Look at the screen. Do you like this outfit? No. You don't? No. The theme was tropics, right? Yeah. So she is. Or is it floral? From what era? Tropic. From what? No, it's not. It was. Uh, it was tropic something. Okay, Pandora, you're uh, you're older than the rest of the girls, right? <laughs> but with the suitcase and the thing, also the white, like her highlight, it just makes her look very white, doesn't it? You're not I, like a white person, but like no, I don't know, like not, not like you and Montauk, not like you and Montauk with your family, but like. Kind of like Jan during the uh, the the Gothic challenge, that white, that kind of white. Look at her face; it is super highlighted, and I'm like, I think she looks really good. Am I crazy? I really think she looks really good. Like, am I wild? And let's go into Raja. Raja looks good, but it's it is it's, it is simple. She does look good, but it is simple. When she walked out like this, I went, "Fuck!" Yeah, that ruined it for me. It wasn't enough compared to the other girls working working down the runway. Am I right? I agree. She looks good, but it it, it it this look is simple. It's just it's just too simple. And other on the other hand, I don't even know how Trinity K. Bonet packed this look to go to this show. All those feathers. What was happening in her how did the 15 different pieces and then she sewed them together? I do and not I understand. love when she she came out and she goes, I haven't been to Brazil but when I do, I think this is how they'll all look. And I want to shout out, I was, did you ever go to Brazil and do a little I, tour on season eight? I did eight? go to Brazil, yeah. I was supposed to, and then I think a UK tour got extended for me and I had to cancel and it never got rebooked. And so everyone like in, infiltrated my uh, social media and like, come to Brazil, come to Brazil. So if anybody from Brazil is listening, bring me to Brazil, I'll still go. Yeah. But all Bra the girls, I heard it was like, Crazy. It's wild. Fans it is wild. It is. You're like it a is celebrity a wild celebrity. Time. You're like Beyonce. It's wild. That being said, Trini Cabonet looks absolutely stunning. This is why she, this paired with having a really fucking great purse, is why she fucking won this episode and why she's probably going to win this fucking season. She looks so good. Are you like Team Trinity right now? I am. I really am. Full on. Okay. All right. Um, Eureka O'Hara, this look is is basic. That's my drag no. sister. This is basic. This is basic as hell. Yeah. Well, I think it was, uh, what's his name? Um, uh, Carson. Carson said, you know what I would have loved is like an enamel beach ball earring. Uh, an enamel, and I said, oh, that would have, because she was wearing like, uh, like a little bejeweled ring mm -hmm. and an earring. And I said, oh, that would have made sense as a theme because Eureka is a theme. She is a huge queen that Huge. always uses every sp every space on her face, her head, and her body. And she always has an outfit to go exactly with the theme that's going on. Yeah. And this was this was a bodysuit. This look does is not indicative of the kind of drag Eureka normally does. Being but her hair looks amazing, Eure I will yeah, say. I mean, she doesn't look bad, but just be, you know, I've done, I mean, now two seasons of a show with Eureka. I've toured the world with her two or three times. This is not indicative of Eureka's drag, and I'm honestly a little shocked. All right, now on to Ginger Man. Ginger Man looks absolutely stunning. I absolutely love this look. There was one thing she said that was weird. She said 35 yards of fabric, and I was like, no, no, I was like, you're a little 5'4 no. body. There is no, no. way on 5 Bob, feet 4 inches you have worn 35 yards of fabric. That being said, I literally looks wrote this stunning. down. Can you give me a second? I'm going to talk very you, much you about not, you. You about are not going to hold let, on. About you have you. To let me finish my sentences, Thorgy. And then there's time for both of us to talk. I mean, but I'm done now. Go ahead. 
35 yards of fabric is when you sewed 35 yards of fabric for your Wizard of Oz thunder <sighs> when you won at the uh, Glammy Glam Awards. Awards. Yeah. The Glam Awards with Cherry Jubilee and you won as Entertainer of the Year in New York City. Am I right? Am I saying the right thing? So, no, you're close. So what happened was that was 50, the year that I won. 70 yards of fabric. That's 35 <laughs> yards of fa fabric. Yeah. yeah. Can I ask you a question though? Cause we were Wait. reaping her about her look during the performance, right? And was saying, I said, how does a girl of her stature wear a leotard like or this. a French cut? That's how you wear it. The look, yeah. the, it's like her legs look long, luscious. Beautiful. She's wearing the perfect champagne colored Swarovski crystal shoe, open toe, big hair, perfect yeah. lace front. And the green looks beautiful against her red lip. When she walked out, I was like, this is the best look on the runway. She's literally, oh, I'm amazing. Kind of, TKB looked the best to me, but Ginger looks absolutely amazing. This is definitely the best Ginger Mae has looked all season. And yes, she right. looks good in general. She looks absolutely stunning. Like Ginger Mae. I'll take it. Really fucking did this look. And then we have Kylie Sony. Ky when Kylie turned the corner, I literally gasped. I literally went, <gasps> Amazing. She looked that good. She looked that good. Well, the, the theme was tropic something, right? She's dressed like a bird. Perfect. That's yeah. what you do. You dress like a tropical fucking bird. <laughs> and she looked amazing. And let's skip ahead to the judges' comments was uh, uh, Michelle Visage was like, you looked amazing and you're green floored me. And oh yeah, the I green hair. And I loved green. There was this whole thing about the green. So she she looked amazing. Good shoe, good posture, good everything, good hair. She looks amazing. I agree. When Michelle got to Ginger Min and said, do you want the positive or the negative? I was like, oh, that was me. Yes, but in true Ginger Min fashion, she goes, I'll take uh, all of the positive and none of and the negative. Thank that you. Was really that was a really funny. Because they asked her. Response. They asked her. <laughs> so she responded and she goes, don't give me any of the negative. That was, I was a like, great response. Why. Anyway, girl, we, we haven't even gotten to, uh, now, now they're back in the All right, room. Go, 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 go. Okay, so All they right, get go, back go, in the room. Go. It is very, very hard to listen to Pandora Box talk about, it was hard. Oh, this is the liberation. Oh, she yeah. breaks down, starts crying. It was pretty, it was pretty hard. But I also, I, it's, I think it's really brave of her to be able to come to like talk about that stuff. Cause like, it is deep, it is real. And she got really real. And I really What did I say? It. A couple of episodes ago, I was like, she has talked about this. That girl carries a burden with her and has had to work really, really hard. Uh, also, Bob, I don't know if you get a lot of fans. Like I do the Cameo app mm -hmm. uh, a lot because uh, by the way, if you're listening, I'm on Cameo and I love it. Book a Cameo with me. I actually love it. I don't charge a lot of money and I really love just, I love sitting at my house, drinking wine and talking to people. But the, I get a lot of people that ask for messages from me about mental health issues as mm -hmm. if I'm a crazy person. Now, Bob, I'm probably a crazy person and need lots of therapy. But, uh, you know, when you dress up and you're powerful in drag, right? You feel your best. And I look at somebody like Pandora who does have mental health issues and has talked about it. And I probably do too, but I, I feel pretty sane, but I love talking about it. Mm -hmm. It's like you can't ostracize them. You can't judge them. And when they break down on national television, I kind of looked at her and I went, Ugh, I kind of get it with you, baby. I agree. All right. So uh, the winner of the challenge is Trinity K. Bonet, rightfully so. And then the lipstick assassin is Alexis Mateo. Alexis Mateo comes out and serves, sir, like... Anyone who was watching me on All Stars, I did Stars, not think she served at first when she came changed. out there. She built up. Alexis she, she, Mateo. Yeah, but she was building she was a like, number. She was giving the most, and when Trinity turned around and was like this, I immediately thought about how she won. What was that lip sync? Was it Cher when she was wearing the jumpsuit? It was the song was uh, "What a Man." The song was "What a Man." And she was dressed like a hippie. Trinity's wig fell off. I will say this though. Oh, when, when that when happened, I off, said, there's no way you can yeah. win. There's no but way. But also, when her wig fell off, I was like, she looks so good without this wig. Like, I was like, oh my gosh, she looks amazing with her. She like, seemed little professional. 
Also, it's happened to all of us, right? Where something falls off and it's like, eh, whatever. You keep going. Oh, Bob, us. I've seen it happen. Bob, I've seen your wig fall off every single performance for six Brilliant, years. You have never seen my wig fall off. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. So TKB loses the lip sync. Alexa Mateo wins. Now this is where the gaggery starts to happen. So they like Mateo, who ha whose lipstick do you have? She goes, well, I'm not my hair for a while. She says, I have Pandora. Pandora yeah. is feeling her feelings, and then she goes, wait, RuPaul, I have another one. It is two Jan. lipsticks. So she pulls out Jan and Pandora. Everyone's looking confused. RuPaul. Talks wait, wait, back up. Do you remember when it was Pandora and Jan goes, oh, oh, girl, so sorry. You have to say that because now keep going. This is good. <laughs> and then she goes, oh, we also have Jan. So then RuPaul goes, the All-Stars rules state, like she's reading out of a book, the All-Stars rules state that if there's a tie, it goes back to the, to the winner of the challenge. So then TKB steps oh, oh, oh. forward and she's like, well, oh. girl, I picked Jan, which technically means that Jan got most Wait. of the votes. I wrote, the biggest comment I wrote is right here. Is what? Can you read it? No, That's what, what she it said. What's it say? She goes, there's some bullshit here. <laughs> and it was a little comment from Trinity's yeah, mouth. Yeah. And they just edited it when they were like, when RuPaul goes, well, the rules are when there's a tie, we revert back to the you know, winner of the challenge. And then they they had her say really quickly as her boy presenting interview, there's some bullshit here. And then they cut right back and I went, <laughs> Yeah. There's some bullshit. That should be on a t-shirt, on a pin. There's some bullshit here. That was garbage. Can you imagine, Bob, if you were on that season and you won, but you were like, but you actually lost. And you were like, thank God, I don't need to deliver this news to one of my sisters, right? And then you did. There's some bullshit here. You know, I feel like, part of me is like, I would really be like, guys, I really hope no one's taking this personally. I'm just doing my drag thing. I really that hope no one's taking this That is you in personally. a nutshell. Yeah, that being is. said, I do think if I was there in that situation, like when I had to send Derek home, it's, it's, it's different when you lip sync and get someone to stay. Versus like you just won and now you have to send someone home anyway after you've won. That's like, it's a, it's, it, it is must different. be a completely different, different feeling. I've never been there. I'm probably, I'm, I'm never going to be in that situation. So I, I, I have no way to, um, I just don't have enough merit to base it off of. That being said. You're never going to be there. You're never going to go back. I mean, I, I don't, I, mean, I don't think that, that there is a situation where I would go back on RuPaul's Drag Race. But anyway, that's, that's a story for another day. So that's why I think that, so she sends home La Mama. Okay. And Jan is upset and Jan goes, they all sent me home because they're jealous. Oh God, when I heard that I was like, if you need to tell yourself that, then you do it baby girl. Georgie, it really is a pleasure. Uh, do, I, I love doing the show with you. Every week I look forward to it and I love you very much and you look beautiful tonight. You too. We both look very stunning. I mean, black is just a good color. You look like everyone looks good in black. We wear dark hair. Dark hair is always good, isn't it? It's serious. Oh, I, love you so much. Uh, I can't wait till episode eight next week. I'll see you next week. Have a wonderful week. I love you. You Mwah. too. Be well. Mwah. Yeah.